So I think that we'll continue heavily on, of course, that's for sure, on the LLM space. Uh, but I think that more open source players like will appear and maybe over open source will be more available. It will be more available and easy to use for everyone. Um, I think we'll still focus on making the models models smaller so that they can uh, be easily brought on-prem or into your private cloud. I think the focus will be on being able to deploy them on a single machine. I think, I mean, we already can deploy models on a single machine with high enough uh, accuracy and uh, capability to uh, solve your use cases. Of course, there will uh, be a lot of work done in multimodal world. So large language models will not only be language anymore, right? So uh, OpenAI is leading the way, but I think uh, there will be more and more of uh, these kind of, um, oh, let's call them also end-to-end -end solutions <laughs> popping up, right? Not uh, not MLOps end-to-end, but uh, uh, generative AI end-to-end. So agent systems will be popular for sure. Uh, I do believe that uh, when it comes to MLOps market, probably finally we'll be seeing uh, bigger clusters of capabilities. So I predict that this year <laughs> it will happen. So uh, these point solutions, some of the point solutions will start uh, expanding into adjacent categories. I still don't think so. I think that end-to-end uh, -end, uh, ML platforms will be the default choice. I think it's not, it's still not there. And uh, I don't see a big increase in quality of the ones that existed uh, one year ago and exist now at the end of the year. So no big uh, breakthroughs there. They're very, uh, they were trying, but uh, uh, for example, SageMaker, Feature Store, but it's barely use, usable and uh, the design is not good. So uh, I think it will not happen next year as well. What else? What else? Probably, uh, yeah. So the, the year was big on prompt engineering, right? But now we see a lot of kind of uh, almost prompt repositories and uh, sources where you can, uh, places where you can source your prompts from that are already researched. Uh, um, and a lot of work has already be, been put into testing them. So I know that uh, there was a big hype on prompt engineer as a job. <laughs> of course, it will remain there, but it will be different. And eventually, I hope at least that we will be converging a lot more to more powerful models and prompt engineering piece of it will be smaller. Of course, it will be big, but uh, it will be smaller because the models themselves uh, will be able to reason more and better. Yeah, I think uh, that we might enter, not enter, but the next year at some point in time, we might uh, see a breakthrough in video creation. I also hope for that because I would like to see a world like that where you can actually create a movie for yourself uh, by describing it, right? <laughs> of course, that will impact a lot other industries, but uh, it's getting better and better. I think development around, let's call it prop authoring. <laughs> so we have long chain, but uh, I've heard a couple of times that uh, it's not necessarily okay. It's doing great job, but it's not necessarily the ultimate data model, how to represent prompts, agents. Um, so I, I expect to see some development here as well, especially if we, yeah, if we, okay, it's easy to adjust. Uh, getting back to this uh, concept of having somewhere this external knowledge vectorized. So this will need to work together. So I think, yeah, we see some something here. Mm, 
I am curious, but don't know how to do it. Uh, having experience uh, as a user of ChatGPT or you know, or uh, other tools that are using it under the hood, the very first result you get is usually quite good, but it is not necessarily easy to iterate with it in a kind of stable way. I just want to replace maybe those two words or and I'm getting something <laughs> uh, reorganized uh, too much for what I needed. I think, yeah, I don't know how to do it, but something that would keep this more stable and allow for tiny changes, local changes. Uh, but I'm talking here from user perspective. It's something that I would like to see. I think that, uh, so my, my additional thought is that maybe some new players will start from LLMs in a specific areas. So maybe it could be, I don't know, uh, a framework of training. It's so simple, similar to uh, LangChain, right? A framework to train LLMs, and then we could expand to more use cases. Thank <music> you.